Let's go to our guests in Washington, D.C. now. Anushay Hussain is a writer and political commentator. And Jesse Jane Duff is a senior fellow at the London Center for Policy Research. I thank you both for joining us here on the Newsmakers. Jesse Jane Duff, let me start with you. So, in Michael Cohen's opening statement, he says the president's a racist, a cheat, a con man. As a supporter of the president, are you worried? Not at all. Michael Cohen just got disbarred from New York for basically his own lies under oath, uh, his fact that he had, uh, did tax evasion. Um, he has basically proven that he's a liar and a criminal himself. So when you're kind of in a cage, you're going to try to claw your way out. And essentially, he's in a corner, and he wants to deflect all of this back onto the president. Why wouldn't you if your name and reputation is going down the drain and you're potentially facing uh, facing prison sentences yourself. Uh, so, no, I'm not worried in any way, shape, or form. He is an attorney. He was uh, supposed to practice the law. It was his job to ensure that President Trump didn't do anything illegal. And if the, anything illegal happened, it's on his shoulders. That's what we pay attorneys for, to ensure that nothing happens that we're paying you for, to ensure that we stay legally binding. I think he's just trying to scratch out of a cage, and that's exactly what he's been doing. Anushay, is it a fair point? Cohen's admitted to lying to Congress in the past under oath. So why should we believe him now? Well, because the best thing that Cohen can do right now to lessen his sentence is not only cooperate with Mueller, but Mueller has already established that Cohen has credible information to give. And, you know, it's a really big day of American political theater, which is unfolding, unfolding in real time. And what Cohen's testimony really gives us an opportunity to do is step back and see the bigger picture and scope of Mueller's investigation. And despite the Trump propaganda machine, you know, being in overdrive to obviously discredit Cohen, who was Trump's personal lawyer and fixer for decades, um, two realities have already been established, that Trump has committed widespread misconduct and that a foreign power was definitely involved to disrupt the American election process. And so, really, I mean, Cohen's opening statements in itself are a fascinating uh, political document in itself. But what's really important that Cohen's going to be able to give us today is providing the details about how this hush money payment to Stormy Daniels really went down. And keep in mind, that is really the two things that the Department of Justice and the Southern District of New York courts have implicated Trump in. So it's a really important day. And Cohen has admitted that he has lied to Congress. He did so under instruction of Trump. This is someone who was a personal lawyer and fixer for Trump. He has a lot of information to give yeah. us. Yeah, he says he has he has the check. I, Just, I would like to respond Jesse, to Jane, that. Come in, come in. I would, I would oh, like yes, to respond to that. Checks. No, basically, oh, he, oh, to suggest sorry, he has no, the I would receipts. like to respond to that. He, please, he please a, let me respond to okay. your hard comments. Copy of the receipts <laughs> okay, so let's bring in. Okay, let's bring in Jesse Jane. Come in. <laughs> Look, look, we got to be fair on this and ensure that we both have equal time. And essentially, this investigation has proved nothing to suggest that there has been proven elements of, of collusion with the Trump campaign with Russia. That's what this investigation is about. It has not ever surfaced. There has been no evidence against President Trump. Yes, Mueller has stated uh, that he had what, credible that's, evidence that's against Cohen. Of course, said. let me finish. That's I'd let you said. speak for 45 to 50 seconds. Let me finish. Cohen has not demonstrated any collusion with Russia. That is what the Mueller investigation investigation is about, and the Mueller investigation would not allow Cohen to testify if he was going to bring forward anything on this investigation. This investigation is not for public disclosure. Let's be very clear about that. This is Cohen ranting and raving about President Trump so that he can look better. He's the one that just got disbarred. He's the one that lied. There is no evidence of President Trump lying. This whole Stormy Daniels case was already dropped. There's no validity behind the case. So let's go ahead and throw stones, because you know what the Democrats are happy about? that it's not Hillary Clinton that's getting investigated, because we know darn well this entire investigation is based upon a dossier that is a fake dossier, by the way, that was funded by the Clinton campaign through Fusion D GPS, and, my, and the steel name on it basically was based upon lies. This is all lies, and you know it. And all you guys are celebrating is finding anything against President Trump, because if you can find one thing on him, your girl comes out clean. And you know darn well the Hillary Clinton campaign is behind all of this. That's probably what's going to get revealed. Anushe? Wow. I think um, our guest just completely proved and demonstrated how uh, how nervous Trump supporters are, and they should be. I mean, if the hush money, the following the money is key. Not only is Michael Cohen testifying today, he has receipts hard copy receipts. He is going to be producing the check of 
Trump paying him back $130,000, which he paid to Stormy Daniels. Not only has Cohen testified that uh, Trump instructed him to make these payments, to lie to his wife about it, to pay off this adult film star, but Michael Cohen has the checks. And, you know, Trump could be, I mean, if, if this is proven in court, Trump could be on the hook for a felony, uh, you right. know, even after he leaves okay, office. So I understand uh, that Trump supporters for a second, are very and nervous, and they should I, be. I, I don't mean to trivialize the Stormy Daniels case at all, right? But I want to kind of go to the genesis of everything here, which is that Mueller is trying yes. to prove that there was collusion or try to investigate if there was collusion between the Trump administration or the Trump campaign and then administration and the Russians. There's a lot of information that suggests that the Russians were trying to fiddle, trying to keep the Americans busy, trying to play games and so on. I don't think too many people disagree with that. But to actually then take the leap to say that there was collusion and that Trump worked with them, do you really believe, Anusha, that come Mueller's final report, we're going to have that categorical proof? I, honestly, I'm not a lawyer, and I, we don't know that. Cohen's testimony is still underway, but what's important, what I said earlier, is that his testimony allows us to step back and really take a, and um, get a perspective on the larger issue, the bigger scope of Mueller's investigation is not only proving collusion. If there is, I mean, we're trying to find out straight, I mean, evidence, right, of what the Trump mm -hmm. campaign did wrong, what kind of misconducts. And that is not only—the allegation of collusion, Imran, is not the only allegation. There's a reason why people are focusing in on this check. This is showing a money trail of campaign finance law violation. Uh, Tr Cohen is expected to testify today that Trump uh, was trying to continue the Trump uh, Moscow Tower project even after he became president. So there's a lot of other information that Don Jr. knew. Uh, and was under the instruction of his father to set up the, uh, the meeting with the Russians at Trump Tower. So it's not only one thing that we're looking for, why the, which is important, which is one of the most important things about Cohen's testimony okay. today, is that it allows us to really examine how wide-reaching Mueller's investigation so, is. So it's not allow just me about to ask collusion. You, okay, Jesse Jane, let me, let me ask you this, right? So the whole report comes out, Mueller's indictment's in, and he says there's collusion, and he, you know, strings together all this evidence and all this testimony, and he says there's collusion. Is there any amount of evidence that could be presented to you that would make you say, okay, hands up, he's right? First of all, you're dealing with a complete hypothetical. The Senate Intelligence Committee already stated, and they are not friendly to the president. There's many never-Trumpers that we have on the Senate Intelligence Committee have already stated there is no collusion. We've already had the FBI say the in 2017, the there is no collusion. Please stop interrupting me. They do not have any evidence of collusion in 2017. Everything that we're talking about right now are complete hypotheticals. Bit. Don Jr., please stop interrupting me. When we look at what Don Jr. testified in front of, it was proven that Don Jr. never falsified any t statements in front of Congress, nor did he make any there nor was there any ever evidence with Don Jr. and Russia. When we're talking about building a hotel in Moscow that was well before the election, Donald Trump is a businessman. He has hotels all over this world. Basically, what Mueller has discovered is people that were working on the campaign who had done things that were erroneous, such as lying to the FBI Mueller. or making false claims, but they have Not never, Mueller. ever, they have never found, let me finish. They have never. Please don't correct my pronunciation. You're not That's pronouncing not the special here. counsel's name correctly. Position. You're not. Stop, you're, it shows a lot about what you're saying me. and your credibility. This is a ridiculous you don't even segment. know how to pronounce this the special counsel's name. This is a ridiculous segment. Name. This okay, is a pronunciation ridiculous aside, segment. Then why are you if on it? We're getting petty. That's the important. It goes to show. <laughs> it goes to show that that you're being very petty. Okay. We have, have to no look at what the Senate Intelligence Committee has released and the FBI has released. And please don't discredit me. I've talked about these issues multiple times, and I'm sorry that I mispronounced something. Hasn't Jesse the Trump uh, administration uh, on, done so much so, to Jesse Jane, I just want to ask you because you're, you've said that Cohen's discredited, right? And I wonder if you think that Papadopoulos is discredited and Manafort's discredited and all of them because a lot of people have dropped like flies, including a number of Russians, right? Which then sort of begs the question: Did the Mueller yes. investigation get it right when they found those people guilty, but not when it comes to the president? 
But none, nothing they did had evidence of collusion. Let's go back to that. Lying to the FBI was not was not covering up any collusion. In fact, when General Flynn had made his lie to the FBI, essentially he didn't even need to lie about it. He was the national security advisor and had every opportunity and capability to speak to Russia. But what happened was he misinformed them. He ends up being in the White House, tracked by FBI guys, and he's thinking he's not even thinking straight, obviously. But that is what they got him on. You're getting people like Manafort for what his tax evasions and issues are, what he was dealing with the Ukraine. That's not Russia. What Papadopoulos did had nothing to do with collusion. Again, there's no evidence of collusion. Okay. Okay. So, Anushet, all these people lied and they did silly, stupid things that were crimes, and that's why they're in jail. But individual one, as Trump is called, <laughs> is going to survive because, again, you have to prove collusion. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. But you it's have to not prove only collusion about collusion. So there was the more than one. Oh, out. now I'm going to be interrupted? But that's that, what the investigation Jessica, is. Now get, I'm going to be interrupted. Your name, go, go ahead, ahead Anisha. Okay, go that ahead. is please, not Please the, answer. I apologize. Okay. Wait, I'm excuse sorry. me? You can learn my name. Okay, I said, thanks. I'm sorry. Don't interrupt me. The scope of Mueller's investigation is much larger than that. I accept your apology. But the fact is, Cohen's testimony is still underway. He has produced checks. Campaign finance laws and violating them could be something that the Southern District of New York and the Mueller investigation could finally implicate Trump in. It's not just about collusion. And Don and uh, Michael Cohen has already not only producing the checks, but he's saying that Trump was going on to. You you know, continue with the Mos uh, Moscow Trump Tower project even after he had become president. This is illegal. Lying to the FBI, as Manafort did and Flynn did, are felonies. So we have to understand that Donald Trump, we're not just talking about one thing here. We're talking about many things here. And we're going to be following the money to see exactly where we can implicate Trump. Mueller's report is supposed to be wrapping up soon. That's what the word is on the mm -hmm. street in Washington. And today's testimony of Cohen's is, is an instrumental part of that. And you know what? The Trump propaganda machine and Trump supporters, I understand why they're stressed. If I were them, I'd be really scared, too. If you have nothing to hide, you don't lie to the FBI. Jesse Jane Duff, should the report That's be fact. made public? Because I understand there's a lot of classified information within oh, it, absolutely. so reading it would be almost like going through a Tetris game. We're going to see all those black lines through everything, right? Oh, but yes. But you, you want we it to be have, made public? Yeah. The Oh, absolutely. First of all, this report was based upon a lie itself. The, the, when we're talking about the Steele dossier, which was a complete fraud and a complete lie trying to set up President Trump, and at the time, candidate Trump, by the Hillary Clinton and the DNC, that is proven. Everybody knows that. That is where the investigation should have started, right there, with the people that were trying to implicate his campaign with a, a steel dossier. So when the investigation started, it was based upon a lie as it was. I understand that all these people lied. I agree. That that they should face charges for lying to the FBI. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with anybody being prosecuted for lying or being deceitful. But there is no money trail that's going to demonstrate any type of collusion with Russia. You're not going to impeach the president over this because that's the, exactly what their it's goal is. When we look at the questions. testimony by McCabe, and he has flat out stated that he believes that President Trump is an agent of Russia. When you start looking at this, it's absurd. He's a billionaire who had business all over the world, and he's going to try to become president of the United States, not take a paycheck, donate every single paycheck so that he can collude with Putin. That in itself is a farce. And to say that we're hysterical and nervous, no, we're not. We have sat here for two years waiting for something to populate. Two years. And not what we keep saying we hope to see and we expect to see, but there has been nothing to see. And we all know this. So I'm looking forward to the results of this investigation. I most heartedly am. And if there's people on his campaign, which I guarantee there were people on Hillary's campaign, who had done things illegal in their past or had done things that they had falsified, look at the lies that happened with the FBI and Hillary Clinton's server. We know that politics is dirty. But when it gets down to collusion with Raja, you're not going to find anything. Anusha Hussein. Oh, you know, I wish I could live in, in Earth, too, where, where Trump supporters live. First of all, Hillary Clinton's entire Benghazi testimony produced zero indictments. If this is a witch hunt, it has produced a lot of witches. Paul Manafort was Trump's campaign manager. Michael Cohen was Trump's personal lawyer and fixer. These are not random people who are just randomly lying. We have to follow the receipts. And guess what? Michael Cohen has the receipts. Anushai, do you believe that the president will be impeached? Um, 
I hope so, because he has committed so many crimes. And a big part of what we got out of McCabe's um, interview and what he revealed to us is that Trump said, I believe Putin. He doesn't believe the U.S. intelligence com uh, community. And in fact, because he's anticipating a lot more information to come out, Trump has long, he's been working on discrediting the FBI for months. So I think that where there's smoke, there's a fire. And there's a lot of smoke around this administration. And Trump himself, do you know that this man is currently at 10,000 lies already? Are we really going to believe him? What is his credibility? He himself is saying, I believe Putin. I trust Putin. He doesn't believe—I mean, I don't even know if Trump is a patriot. Uh, so Jesse I Jane. definitely okay. think there's so, going to be a so, so lot Jesse of Jane, if you have a, We're just in the beginning of it. Right. If, if you have a president who's saying, I believe Putin, and who shows a lot of, I guess, uh, preference for the Russians over his own Love. intelligence community and so on and so forth, you don't necessarily have to oh. prove collusion, but perhaps incompetence that I'm somebody's sorry. not, it, not it, fit sorry. for office? I'm sorry. I have to— no, he has demonstrated. This president has been harder on Russia than any other president. The sanctions that have been imposed upon Russia have been quite severe. All of the Russians that were expelled from this nation has been quite severe. He has done nothing to help Russia. When he said he believed Putin, it was in one incident. It did not mean in every single case that it's going across, across the world. Let's be honest here. The left hates President Trump and would love to see him uh, taken out of office. That is their goal. That is their job. I get that. That's politics. But when we're talking about, let's go back to, again, collusion with Russia during the campaign, there's no evidence of any. And what That's money trail? Yes, there's a money trail with uh, Stormy Daniels. She signed a document that she received money. What she was upset about was that she was told that she could not talk about it, and President Trump never signed the document. Having a payment going to Stormy Daniels, believe it or not, is not illegal. That was not illegal. He never admitted to any affair, whatever Excuse it was me, that went on. I didn't elect a saint. Violation. I did not elect a saint. It's that wasn't a campaign it finance violation if President Trump paid it out of his own funds. Violence. But how you, do you, can, how do you are you okay, a lawyer? Okay, do you, are you need a lawyer? to stop interrupting that is what me. Because you need now. to that is stop what this, interrupting me. You are just spouting you know, lies. You cannot be you don't honest. Know your facts. You're spouting it doesn't lies. matter. So you, you don't have you. know how to pronounce so Mueller's you. name. So you have many no lies. Let's go back and forth and call each other names then. This is not going to be good for television. Not good for television. Everything I have said today actually is being testified today. Let's throw throw mud. Okay, Let's I'm throw out of time mud. now, but this listen, is, listen. Good Let's throw morning. Mud. Listen, Thank we're going to Thank you. We're going to continue wow, to, good morning. to follow this closely. Hope to have you both back on Thank the you. program soon. Anushay Hussain and Jesse Jane Duff. Thank you so much. Thank you, Imran. Thank you. So you, you're insane. <laughs>